Today is Wednesday, December 9th, 2020, day nine of our Aikido at Home Vlogmas Challenge, where we spend a day working on an exercise that's gonna help us improve our Aikido while we're at home for the holidays or for the COVID quarantine. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing Shihogi. So if you haven't seen my video of day five of the Aikido at Home Vlogmas Challenge, check that out right now, or if you've watched it and you need a refresher, that's gonna go over the footwork for Shihogi because we're gonna add on top of that and make it a little bit more complicated. And instead of Shihogi, we're doing Hapogi, Hapogi, which is eight directions. We will be using the Yokomenuchi strike, the strike that we learned yesterday. So if you didn't watch the yesterday's Vlogmas challenge, check that out right now so you can learn the mechanics of the Yokomenuchi strike. And then, we're gonna add in Kushin. So to sum it up, we're gonna do Hapogi with a Yokomenuchi strike using Kushin, the squats, which was, by the way, Aikido at Home Vlogmas Challenge Day 2. If you haven't seen that one and you haven't learned how to do the squats, check out that vlog right now and then we'll get together. Okay, let me break that down into three parts. Part one, I'll review the Yokomenuchi strike really briefly. Part two, I'll review the footwork for Hapogi, the eight directions. Part three, we will do the eight directions together with Kushin, the squats. Are you guys ready? Okay, let's get started with our exercise for today. It's Aikido at Home Vlogmas Challenge number nine, and we're gonna do Hapogi. So first of all, we're gonna go over the strike. Part one, we're gonna go over the strike. So it's a Yoko Menuchi strike. So you're here, remember, engage the hip, bend that knee, make sure that sword perpendicular to the ground is far from your foot. And you're gonna go back up, and then you're gonna strike Yoko Men, okay? That's the strike. And if you did yesterday, day eight of our Aikido at Home Vlogmas Challenge, we did this Yoko Menuchi strike with a Kushin. So go back and watch that if you're not getting this yet, okay? So you can, you, at the very end of that video, we did that together. We did 10 strikes together. That's gonna be a huge part of today's video. Part two, let's go over the footwork for Hapogi. If you've read Kisho Maru Ueshiba's book, The Spirit of Aikido, he talks about Shihogi, Hapogi, ju, Junihogi, and Jushihogi. So we're gonna do that. Um, I'd be pretty surprised if you've seen this before. I think very few people have actually seen this technique. Let's, let's work on the footwork. So um, we're gonna you know, step back, right? Hapogi is eight directions. So we're gonna go north, south, east, west, but in eight directions. So we're gonna strike with the right foot forward. We're gonna strike with the left foot forward north. So we're pretending this way is north. Then we're gonna pivot 180 degrees and strike Yokomen with the right foot, step forward, strike Yokomen with the left foot to the south. Now we're gonna turn counterclockwise, and this is going to be the northwest. So we're gonna strike right into that northwest quadrant, Yokomenuchi with the right foot forward, then left foot forward, Yokomenuchi. We're gonna do 180 degrees right behind us to the southeast quadrant, and we're gonna strike Yokomenuchi right foot, Yokomenuchi left foot. Then we're gonna to turn to the west, right foot forward, Yoko Menuchi, left foot forward, Yoko Menuchi. Then we're gonna do 180 degrees right behind us to strike to the east, Yoko Menuchi, always turning clockwise. So we're turning clockwise. Did I say counterclockwise? I probably said counterclockwise earlier, but we're actually always turning clockwise. I think so. I'll, I'm gonna verify that in a second. Yoko Menuchi, then left foot forward, Yoko Menuchi. Then you're gonna turn clockwise into that southwest quadrant, Yoko Menuchi with the right foot, Yoko Menuchi with the left foot. You're gonna turn right behind you into that northeast quadrant, Yoko Menuchi, and then strike again, Yoko Menuchi. And the last one, we're just gonna face north. Let's go over that one more time to really get that down and you know get this hapogi going. Okay, so from here, I turn to, posi to get myself ready, right? I'm turning that right hip back. So remember, Aikido is about turning the hips. 
please try to stay away from stepping back and then stepping forward to strike. That um, really does not embody Aikido because Aikido is a, it's about turning the hips and turning the hips because we're training Aikido as we do these sword strikes is what gets you out of the way if someone is striking at you. Okay, so back to the beginning. I'm gonna turn that hip back, step back, raise straight up, and then I'm gonna strike Yoko Menuchi, right? Now, I'm gonna lift up as I'm turning my hip and strike Yoko Menuchi again with my left side, 180, 180 degrees, striking Yoko Men again, striking Yoko Men straight behind me. This time I'm gonna go into that Northwest quadrant, strike Yoko Men, strike Yoko Men. Now I'm gonna go into that Southeast quadrant, Yoko Men, Yoko Men. I'm going into the West quadrant, Yoko Men, Yoko Men left side. I'm going to the East, Yoko Men, Yoko Men. Now I'm going to the Southwest, Yoko Men, Yoko Men, and then I'm going to the Northeast. Yoko men, yoko men, and then I'm ending north. That is the hapogi. Um, if you practice that a little bit, push pause, practice that a little bit until you really get a good feel of it. And when you're ready, part three, let's do this together. So we're gonna do, grab your sword, and we're gonna do hapogi, adding in the kushin. It's gonna make it a little more difficult. It's gonna make it more strenuous on the legs. It's gonna build your leg strength build your posture, and really get you turning those hips so that when you're actually doing Aikido, you, if you save this form, you will do better. Okay, let's get started. So start off in Chudan. Pull that hip back and go up, right? And this is go down, up, strike, turn that right hand up as you draw your left heel in and go down, up, strike with the left side, turn that sword up, pull your right heel in and go down, and straight behind you, strike, down, strike, down, and now we're going into that northwest quadrant, strike, down, strike, down, southeast quadrant, strike, down, strike, down, now we're going into the west quadrant. Down, up, down, east quadrant. Up, down, up, down. Now into the west, southwest quadrant. Down, up, and last one. Into the northeast quadrant. Down, up, down, and then north. That is the hapogi with the kushin. Uh, I hope you did it with me. If you did, congratulations. If you still haven't got it yet, you know what's so nice about these videos is you can pause them and watch them over and over and over again. That, that's it, guys. That concludes our day nine Vlogmas Challenge Aikido at Home exercises that are gonna help you improve your Aikido that you can do by yourself with a sword. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day 10.